is going on YouTube? This is the plot lining video and it is already on the tube. So there's nothing you or anybody else can do about it. So watch, sit back, relax and get some tips. Peace. So peeps, as you can see here, I've got the 9mm hard face marine ply which I've used throughout the build. But the 6mm original template what was taken from the van in the first place. So basically what you want to do is measure the depth of your floor and measure the depth of your ceiling. And you want to rip this measurement off the original template and then measure between where your ceiling's sitting and where your floor's sitting. And then that'll give you the width of what your new board is going to be getting ripped to. So once you've got a measurement for the height of your new board, you want to measure the distance from the floor to this hinge and transfer that measurement over to your new board and then you'll know where to sit the old template to draw around. Once you've got your measurement for the bottom of the board, then you'll just need to transfer the original height measurement and then you've got your measurement for the top of the board also. This is the only really problem board as the back of the van can be curved depending on what van you've got so once you've done that all the rest of the boards are pretty plain sailing. Then once you've done that it's time to jigsaw. If you use your original templates until you get past the wheel arches at the rear of your van then all the boards after that should be pretty plain sailing. When you're doing your second body, you should have some idea of how many millimetres you need to be taken off the bottom. So as you can see, the original template there is just overhanging the new board by around 20 to 25 millimetres. So just measuring up here and then I'll scribe a line on there and use the jigsaw again to cut that out. Remember, measure, measure, measure again, and then do your cut. Measure twice, measure three times, and cut once, peeps. So once your board's cut out, as you can see here, I was in and out a couple of times, and you're never going to get a perfect first time so just make adjustments when and where you need to once you're happy that you've got them sorted use your indelible pen or marker to mark the insulation and then you'll know where to measure from to the ceiling for the size of your next board I would advise to mark this with where the structural members or the where you can actually get a fixing to is behind here so I've done that all the way along where I'm going to have my fixing points and then using a three millimeter drill bit get that on focus three millimeter drill bit and one inch screws so pretty small screws you don't need big things to get this in and as you can see along here at the bottom there's actually a little gap but this is all going to be getting cladded anyway so that'll be getting covered over and so basically what I'm up to this is the where the light switches are going to be it's got the blue wire here for the 230 which is going to be a single socket got the boiler control which will be coming from the boiler in the corner there so we'll have a display and control next to the bed where we can control what temperature we want and these are all the light switches which I have measured and transferred over to this ply what I'm going to show you in a second and this is the two wires for the gas meter so 
basically the underslung gas tank. We've got a wire coming up from that which will go to the little filler gorge that will be placed on the wall here so we can see how much LPG we've actually got in our tank and the other wire is basically just an earth wire which is ran to an earthen point on the chassis so before I put this on the Kingspan is in behind here if you follow on our Instagram you'll see that the I have actually recessed this back so behind here once this bubble wraps cut I'll have enough room to sit a box in here for whatever lights I want to put in a, in a box here for the 230 so I've basically measured from here to wherever I want the box to sit measured up and transferred the measurements over which I'll show you now this is the pry board I have measured up and st string a line all the way across this is the 230 socket which I've marked up there just drill a little hole so I can get my jigsaw blade in this is the main light switch which I've just used a hole saw for this is where the gas meter is going to be wires are going to be coming out of and the gas meter will be sat somewhere around the top here and this here is the dimmer light for the two lights the two LED lights around the bed and this small hole is for the two wires for the gas meter and our LPG tank and that's where the gas meter will be sat so I'm going to get these jigsawed out and then get them get this bit of ply fit in the van so let's do this so after that as I mentioned just want to crack on with the rest of the boards the rest of them are pretty freight freight forward freight forward straightforward you just want to make sure that when you're putting a new board on that it is overlapping onto a structural member and then this will ensure that when you're getting your fixings in the when the where the boards meet they will be sitting nice and flush with each other because if you're not overlapping on a structural member then one board will be sitting proud to the other board so yeah bear this in mind when you're putting your boards up or when you're cutting them and you shouldn't go far wrong and one final thing as you can see where the bottom boards are finishing is where a long structural member runs the length of the van and there's actually no brakes in that and that sits on my van at around 700 it's also where the wall starts to curve up to the top so this just prevents the board having to bend over bend and obviously create a natural break in the board so keep an eye out for that as well so guys just finished off ply lining the side walls as you can see and just on doing the bulkhead just going to cover the back of this up with nine millimeter marine ply as well so just need to scribe around this corner here so just Basically what I've done is, a bit of old ply, stick a point on it, put your pencil through a little hole like that and then your point goes against the wall and then you just drag your pencil down, all the way down the wall like that. As you can see it's left the line on there and I'm just going to nip this off with the jigsaw and then cut the this end so that it's laying halfway over the button which I uh, know where you can feel where it is here and then I'm going to fix this in and piece it in with all the other offcuts that I've got so all of this is actually going to be hidden so let's get that done now So as you can see that's scribed in nicely there down the wall and just going to measure up where I want these wires to come through the back, drill some holes, pull the wires through and then fix down the edges here into the button.
so that is it for the ply lining folks I do apologise that to come to such an abrupt end I'm sure you were all hanging on the edge of your seats watching that one but stay tuned there's going to be more videos coming so subscribe to our channel and follow our social media pages as per usual and thanks for watching I hope everybody's in good health and bonjour